Yo, hello everyone. I just want to decide what I'm going to do for the setup of this stream. So we're playing Batman. Okay, the screen is... Yeah, look, that's not... That's not how it's meant to look. But um, we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Um, I just want to figure out the setup of the stream. Because back in the day when I used to do the old Shield streams, um, I used to have very little lighting. And I thought that was quite nice for the old ambience of the, of the Shield stream genre. You know, having it a bit a bit dark, a little bit... Oh, I need to turn off the jazz music, really, don't I? Um, and adjust the Elgato real quick. Uh, there you go. And I was wondering what everybody thought about... Oh, wait, this way a little bit. Wait, where am I going? Over here a bit. Oh, just adjusting the camera. Do we want lighting like the rest of them? Should I switch on the ring light and whatever? Or do we want, like, a low light like I used to have with the old... The old streams. What do we... What do we think? Oh, gosh. We've got it dark. It's dim. It's just like the good old days, gamers. This is how I used to have it. Um, but I could turn the lights up a little bit because you can't even see my hair. <laughs> like, it's just black. Um, but I could turn it up slightly, have it like on like a dimmed... A dimmed light, but maybe more like this sort of colour and just dim it down like... Like that, or maybe... Hmm. More like... Like this, maybe? So it's a nice late-night stream, boys. And we're ready for it. Um, let's go ahead and... Change the speaker, so if anyone donates, we can hear it. Uh, just make sure desktop audio is going through the right thing. No, it want to be that one. Perfect. All right. Wonderful. Brilliant stuff. We're ready to kick things off, I think. Hop into the game. Load it up anyways for now. And let's uh, let's do this. Th let's do this shit. I need to point the camera down slightly, I think. Like that, maybe. That's probably a little bit better. Not gonna lie, B look like George. Well, I came first, so he looks like me, actually. Um, that's how that works. Try and plug my phone in because it's running out of battery. Here we go, it's Batman! Wasn't this nice? Batman The Telltale Series. Oh, I want to move my drink because I, I don't really want it in front of the screen unless I like bring it back like that. That's fine, we can have it like that. Alright. Let's hop into things. Um, ah, shit. It's annoying because I can't bring the mic out unless I'm... Because <laughs> it moves the camera. Hang on, unless I put it like that. Okay, well. Do you know how much of a bitch this camera is? On the, In the old setup back at home, pff, easy stuff. Used to be the easiest thing ever to do. Now it's like too low. I just... I cannot deal with this bullshit. Let me just make sure the camera is correct before we get going. It's an absolute bitch with the new setup. I mean, I say new setup. It's been this been my setup for months at this point. Um, it's just yeah, a fucking little cunt. Really, I should just like put it. I don't know. Um, hang on a sec. I just I'll lift it up a little bit and then I'll use the the remote control to move it. I think. Hey, thank you, Lewis, for the donation then. I think I'll probably sit something James like this. James Wealth Gaming. Yep, that's pretty. Yeah, no, that's good. I agree. James Wealth Gaming. Um, right. That does it. That's fine. All right, cool. We're very red right now. So how do I do this? Uh, just not now. Here we go, boys. It's the Bat Gamer. What? Play Classic Edition, play Shadows Edition. What does that mean? I don't know. I do not know. Let's make sure settings are right. Like we've got subtitles and shit. Uh, audio and video. Subtitles on. Small. Yeah, I'll keep them small. That's all good stuff. Uh, gameplay. Uh, yep, yeah, chill. Cool. What is, what does this uh, apply? What does this mean? What's Classic and Shadows Edition? I don't know what that means. 
like, I, I would assume we go for classic, but, like, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um... Land stream is okay. What's this? What's what's crowd play? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm an old man. I don't know what these words mean. Um, don't play it. So we're just playing. Shadows is black and white edition. Play classic, a better looking version, more darker. What? So some people are saying different things. Some people say, okay, the camera is super dark. I don't think I quite want it to be this dark, do I? Um, let's just play classic. Let's just play classic. Right. Hang on a sec. I'm just gonna up the. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, no, wait. You can't see that in the camera, actually. So I think we're okay. Is that okay for lighting? Yeah. All right. So start episode one. Oh, look. Crowd play. I see. So what does that mean? Okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah, no. Okay. So let's go episode one. Uh, a bat tech color. What? Determines the look of Batman's gadgets and gear. Ah, why would you want to change that? Blue looks right to me. It'd be weird to have any other color. It's fucking Batman. He has blue shit, right? Seems about right. All right, boys. Is the camera okay? It, it's, it feels very dark to me, which is weird because I don't think I normally, like it used to pick up light a lot easier from streams and shit, but I suppose I used to have three monitors too, now I only have two. Um, but I reckon we'll be fine. I just don't want to look really like dark and dull. The story is tailored by how you play. Sometimes I ask the chat for decisions, though. Like, for the most part, I'll make decisions myself, but, like, sometimes I'll be like, oh, let's ask the chat, see what they think. Alright, here we go. Oof, that anti-aliasing. Hey, you... Oh, no. Our man is dead. I am vengeance. I am the knight. Okay. So here we go. We got these gamers coming in here. Oh no. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place <laughs> Yeah, that's what I asked you. Don't tell me what can stop us. Gotham City Hall. That poor guy. Christ. It's the boy. Move in. Oh God, these guns are just blowing everything up. The hell? Back. Get back. Second floor. I'm going in. Hey, wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. <laughs> they sound like the uh, Arkham thugs. Oh, it's the boy. It's the bat boy. In we go, gamers. Huh? 
There was Troy Baker Batman in this. That's pretty cool. There you go. I like the music. It's very Batman-esque. Ooh. It looks pretty cool. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crossfires um. until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. You can tell it's Troy Baker. Yeah. That's cool. Hello, Brett. Shit. Ubi Central. Don't forget to like the stream, by the way, if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Isn't most of this game, like... I mean, from what I've played from, of Telltale, aren't they mostly, like, quick time events? Like, you always have to be sort of looking at the screen. It's going to make it a bit difficult to read the chat, I think. <clears throat> Mark Hamill is also, yeah, my favourite Joker, for sure. Ooh. The bat. I'll try and read the chat when I can, though. So far, this reminds me a little bit of Arkham Origins in the way that Batman is. Oh, shit. Got him. The back circle up. The bat gamer. I need to stop saying. Actually, I feel like I've said the bat gamer a few times in the past three minutes. <laughs> My name is James, and this is the Lord's song, and all as well could sing it all day long. The Welford song is a ten out of ten song. Really. What are they doing? They're robbing a bank or something? Wait, what? Oh. What's that little bat symbol like that's sort of filling up? What does that mean? Oh, he looks pretty cool. I do quite like this suit. He is a little bit short. But... I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes. You need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! This is very Arkham Origins esque. I guess this is younger Batman then. Oof. Oh, did I miss that? God damn it, Batman, fucking Christ. Oh god. Okay, let's calm down here with the quick time events. I'm not an epic gamer when it comes to quick time events, boys. I'm getting old. My reaction time is just not what it used to be uh, in my prime gaming days. I didn't write though. Mate. James is giving me enough cats to sell at the bakery. That's my favourite Victor quote of all time, I think. <clears throat> it's really difficult for me to read the chat at the same time. Didn't your mother teach you? But Selena. Behind you, big boy. Huh? Oh. Payday. It's like the beginning Ooh. to Arkham City. <laughs> oh yeah. The police not like Batman at this point? Then why was Gordon like mates with him? Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. Mm. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Should call him Big Boy. Should call him Big Boy. 
pretty sure that's Laura Bailey playing so her. I need to hear her speak again. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Sounds like uh, yeah. I think shoot, I can hear it. Tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. I like Some the voice modulator thing. People like you. So that makes me what? A villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <clears throat> Cat is not a wild Let's animal. Put you in a cage. Bring it, bat. Bat time. Oh gosh. Got a big old scratched helmet. Oh gosh. Let's go to the left. We're gonna do her in. Whoa! Bloody hell! Can't, can't be fucking hell. To be fair, she's just done that to me. I think she's given me the right to go and punch her head in a little bit. Little to no regard for her safety. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> oh shit. Take it off. Whoop. What would happen if I didn't get her? I assume it would change nothing because it's a telltale game. <laughs> Catwoman is a really sexy lady. Oh shit, wrong button. Okay, no, I did it. Don't worry. It didn't. It didn't register my first button press for some reason. Oof. Oh, that was pretty cool. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh! God damn it! I said don't shoot you! No! Wait! Gordon's got the right idea. I like Gordon. Catwoman's character more fucking fit. Like the oh shit, did I I fucked that up, didn't I? I did it anyway. I didn't even press the fucking button, and he still did it successfully. So what's the point? Got her. Sure, that will rip her arm out of her socket. Who knows? Uh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Okay. Oh, what a stupid bitch. My god. She has some serious strength. She went and stole the thing too. Fucking hell. 
Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't I like this. Stones be your family legacy. They're getting Batman oh. pretty accurately. And like, pfft, that shadow up his back, my god, fucking, it was just pixels. Look what is that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, god. All right. Whew. Goodness. Well, I'm gonna go them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, I'll vote for Harvey Dent. Seems like a stand-up stand guy. Fire and save our great city. What a guy. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Oh, yeah. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> I tee him up and he knocks him down. <clears throat> now Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. I like that quote, yeah. Mr. Wayne, Don't let tombstones be your family you legacy. Your house to us. It's very Arkham Origins esque. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him. <laughs> no one's listening to him. <laughs> this shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero. All these choices are so, campaign. like, random. All I need is a What's the slogan? point of them? I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... Put a dead in crime. End crime. Hmm? Look at you. It's not <laughs> that bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Shake hmm? some things up, gamers. Come on. Hans? Mr. Wayne? Yeah, Origins is really the origin of... It's like the origin of the Batman that Hello, we know, Bruce. how like how he sort of, the chairwoman of Wayne I don't know, Enterprises. kind of like a coming of age story in a sense, Sorry. where he goes from being Mr. this Wayne. angry young man know to Mr. a, Dent from you know, a pothole on Main Street. more developed I man, I guess. Your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. I believe After in all, Dent. Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, my name isn't important. What is important is Mr. Dent's campaign. You like know? it or not, the Wayne name carries weight in Gotham. I understand. I just don't want to throw it around. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're like preaching birds. Here. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. 
Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall. That if I was rich, I would not live in Gotham. Like it's the wild I would go West. anywhere else. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Yeah, I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? Yeah, and taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> so the right Don't choice, worry, I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. We call it we'll Arkham City. Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate uh. will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this A new city. face for Gotham, yeah, that probably would have been a better one. I, I don't work well under pressure. robbery in some <coughs> alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. And tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. Yeah, I haven't walked since. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe, uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce. For Seems like a, the right one to say. <laughs> You have our support. Troy does a good today. job, yeah, a very Go good job. Him. We're on our way. I do like it a lot. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Nice bit of gaming. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. And eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. Classic and Vicky Vale. The Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions? Do you <laughs> <laughs> Why did you choose that? That was now everyone was going to die. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, was that right? Fine. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Well, you enjoy your own someone asked me how I am. Before all the champagne runs out. Uh. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to press that. You're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. <laughs> Was that a good Mr. response? Wayne, I don't know. You've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. Come I was gonna say that. Cut myself shaving. Oh, no, this? No, it's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Ooh. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> so I Jack it was a mistake. I just feel that's the kind of guy that Bruce Wayne would be. I'm trying to act like Bruce <laughs> Wayne. Kind of business do you, you know? One that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak. I'm with trusting you, Harvey. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously, you know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Falcone's played by. Yeah, well, just make Sully. sure this one doesn't cool. hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Oh, yeah. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. Oh, I can't do anything but sell it. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. 
Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Not get done in. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Oh god. This feels like a large choice. If they get that gave me a lot of that gave me some fucking anxiety. Should I shake his hand or not shake his hand? I think I should just shake. Mm, should I though? Hmm. I feel like Bruce doesn't want to, but like I feel like he should, so. I reckon we should shake his hand. Give him a big old shake and be like, thanks for coming here today. I'm, we're best mates now. Don't. No. Do it. Yes, don't. Okay, no. Up to you. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good point. That's a good point because the reporters are here. We don't want to see Bruce Wayne shaking hands with... Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Yeah. That's good. That's a good one. That's good. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlour. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... <laughs> Wait, I can't hear that. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of scripts uh... to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce back to you. No, side. Harvey comes with me. Harvey I gotta be loyal. Us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. <laughs> That's exciting. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. <clears throat> so, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the main no. seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. I'm not going to be a little bitch. Fucking chalk it yourself. Whatever happens to be in a gracious host. Okay, imagine this is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home hoping to make a new friend one who can help mr dent see the light if need be between your businesses and mine i bet we employ half the city now we got a good thing going so i don't see why we shouldn't team up for gotham no for our I, that feels city. it just feels wrong to yeah, team up with that's fucking hey, this isn't a deal with falcone it doesn't feel right given bruce's Strict morals doesn't feel me, right. Kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money, 
The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> I'm doing him in. Well, Not holding back, you. boys. That's it. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <laughs> He's gonna get what's coming to him. I haven't plays Jaro to part and fall in order. Fall in order. The guy that plays Jaro to Fall in Fallen Order plays so many fucking people. Batman the Telltale series. I'm not gonna lie, that was a terrible title card animation. That looked like shit. Um, he's also Laura Bailey's husband. That's pretty cool. Whoa. It's got good music though. Into the bat cave to do some bat things. It's me. <clears throat> Just a Batmobile. Fucking burn it. <laughs> Wonder if this game has tank gameplay. Episode 1. Wait, it took us fucking half an hour to get to the title screen. That's pretty mad. Or like the title card to be like, oh, there you go. Realm of Shadows. Why have they got like super low res text? Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. Oh, no. See what she was really after. That's who. Oh, I'm wandering about. Look at the cow. Lenses, voice okay, modulation. That's... Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Look at the movie tickets. Sad Bruce is sad. Gotham feed. DA Dent prison mayor to the cry vigilantes. Very cool. Nice little articles and shit. Nice. Codex. Oh, okay, it's just got a list of characters and shit. Data port. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. All right, so let's grab the drive. Random stabbings. Are the latest headache for the writers. Random stabbings. Really fell off a building for this? I cannot be the first time he's nearly fallen off of a building. All right, let's give it a bit of an analyze. See what's going on. I ever plays Devlin Mallory in Skyrim. Delvin, sorry. Oh, that's pretty, pretty interesting. Let's play Scrooge McDuck in Kingdom Hearts. That's <laughs> so funny. You gotta have to listen to his voice next time he speaks. Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. Doesn't sound like him. In a dark, damp cave. Clearly, it's a good voice actor. Um, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. 
Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic <laughs> resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. What does that even mean? Oh. Rotate the hologram. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's Who the still fuck is a keeler in Red Dead Redemption? I don't even know who that is. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear <laughs> everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, huh? Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Catwoman? Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. The Codex. Look up info on the cat burglar. Founder. Okay, what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> that was it, I guess. Much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, whenever Harvey calls. That guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Bale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. How long has he been Batman for at this point? If put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I I'm trying to be nice to Alfred. He's a if sweet we make gamer. A suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. So I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Take the business card. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him... We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Oswald? Cobblepot? Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing what? matches, arms dealing... Or is it just someone else stats? called Oswald? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. About the same time as Origins, that makes sense. Well, oh shit, as as fuck. I enjoy having this one-sided conversation. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. 
Nice. I like Alfred a lot in this game. I mean, Alfred's always great, though. I've always loved Alfred. He's always been a great bloke. Cobblepot Park. It is Oswald Cobblepot. What the fuck? But they were mates? What? I'm so confused. Gotham is no good. Where are you, Oz? That was absolutely useless. If you haven't really liked the stream, by the way, drop us a fat like. It'd be nice to hit 100 if we could do that. That'd be pretty cool. Homeless person. Oh, that, there was two options there. I've examined the homeless person. Give change. Yeah, why not? Do a little nice good deed there. Uh, thank you, sir. The homeless man will remember that. <clears throat> Strange, it didn't even say that. Burning barrel. Look at. James, have you seen Batman in the animated series? That's show the interest of Batman. Um, I believe I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I've never like watched the whole show. Mm -hmm. And then me by the statue. Great. There is the statue, but no Oz. Yeah, because he just said he's running late, you fucking idiot. Who makes the most Batman stuff? The Wayne stayed prominent in Cold Pop, Family Funds are ruined. Really? God, I didn't even know that. Smoking man. Talk to. Hey. Beat it. No. Do I really want to look at the graffiti? Also, what graffiti? What? It's a blank wall. What? I'm so confused. What's this? Plaque. Coal Pop Park. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Hmm. No, it's not. Watch wallet cash. But this uh, goes through you. Oh no. I've gotta do some you Batman it, antics. Man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. <laughs> and him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching. <laughs> you're ruining the moment! Oh, shit. I think that'll do! Oh, I didn't even press it and it did it. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, God. Why would you not start with the gun, you moron? Like you don't belong. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, fucking hell, Oswald, well, calm down. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? Who plays plays him? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little uh Yeah. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Oh, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, 
No, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little moose I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> oh no, poor Oswald. This city chews right through people. Plays the orcs, oh my god. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. Man swine. <laughs> so weird. I know, Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited. I could one of those options is that's just out of it. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. It's true, that's how it be. Although I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily. <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. I like Oswald. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile sweet off, man. ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham bliss. But when my revolution starts, we're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. Oh. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Don't like him anymore, boys. You, Bruce, but Don't like I him no more. To collect. Cheers. I was on top chat. I switched to live chat, but I can't see anything from anybody. What was this guy doing? Nice. Oh, be all sports car. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Oh, balls. Morning, Mr. Dent. Turn the fucking chat again. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> We're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. How for texting its you? methods for rehabilitation, you crude. Its security, lacking. We're still, those who do get out, 
or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. That's good. It's the kind of shit you Mr. want. Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was... Uh, That's like Spike Boys. Old, Let's do it when nearly 100. My parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night... My parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Not really. He was just a criminal. He wasn't fucking mentally insane. Um... With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Oh, was that not a good thing to Today, say? On the anniversary of that fateful I'd, night, I thought that'd be like a fun little. Uh, to Thomas and Martha okay. Wayne, and usher <clears> in <throat> a new era of healing for Gotham. We are four likes away from a hundred boys. Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? It'll be closed what and destroyed. What happens to the old building? Uh, leave it standing. I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those who need us most. We All right, who's up next? Oh, Is that the right yeah. choice? I don't know. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account mm. managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? Oh, what? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built oh, on no. lies? Do you know about this, Bruce? Oh, no. How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Oh, dear. Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from oh, here on out. I should have said please, no comment, but I didn't say no comment. I panicked. I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Why? What are they doing? Get out of the manor. The, the fucking thing didn't say, does anyone else have the evidence? The thing said, doubt the evidence. It's so fucking dumb. This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to? It's hard to be a cop in this city. 
If he battles uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Okay. Oh no. Smash the photo of all of his gaming friends. Uh, Why would I say that? Bruce, <laughs> stay back. Take whatever you want. Oh my god, are we going to get to see Martha Wayne's pearls fly? You don't have to do this. Bloody hell. Where are the pearls? Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, you're really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify it's probably themselves. Probably Falcone, we have right? no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen. <laughs> Vicky just sucked me off and leave. Everyone will be talking <laughs> about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now. And stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Okay, guys, <clears throat> you can pick for me because every time I make a choice, the chat gets angry. So I'm going to need you to make the choice for me. Tell me which one to do. What, shall I make a quote or shall I refuse to make a quote? Personally, I'm thinking of going with making a quote, but that might be wrong. I don't know. I'll just wait to see what everybody says. Uh, 
Refuse, quote, no. What, no, you do it. <laughs> no, because the chat doesn't like when I make choices. <laughs> Loads of people will be like, wow, I can't believe you did that. Quote, refuse, quote, quote, give a quote, I refuse, give a quote, refuse, don't trust her, give a quote, don't. Do it. Uh, if against can choose the chat things. I do. Um, don't do it. Uh, don't do it. See, I feel like giving a quote personally, but I don't know. Whoops. Uh, fucking hell, I keep closing the OBS. Um, Oh, I don't want to get it wrong though. Fine, I'm gonna do a quote. I don't give a shit. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> the Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. I mean, it can't hurt, can it? You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. How the fuck did she get into my house? Crazy bitch. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies with my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. On the anniversary of your parents, it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Because he's a two-faced liar. Ha <laughs> ha! Who knows why? Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill told Alright, I'll make more choices on my own. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. He has such a thick neck. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Oh. Hey, you? Sorry, I gotta have the thing no, no, just glad you I'm made Dr. it. Dr. Gaming. Hope you enjoyed our game. Don't worry about what chat thinks. It's fucking Keep Selena. Keep asking and yeah, I might get spoilers. We're just gonna try to get the good ending anyway. Uh, hope you enjoy the game. Don't worry about what the chat thinks. Keep asking and you might get spoilers. We're just gonna try and get, get the good ending anyway. Alright, I will stop asking. Maybe for bigger choices I can ask, because I sometimes do it. Like, uh... With Life is Strange, if there's a big choice, I'll sometimes just pause it and be like, all right, what do we think, boys? Let's make a choice here. Because that's, you know, it's fun. Um, thanks for the donation, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot. 
You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall. Oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? That's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? How is that not, like, manners? I was mugged. If I saw someone with a massive cut on their face, what well, would you, would I would you just ignore it? That makes no sense. You'd actually be like, "What happened to your face? Like, what's going on?" You a car. It's not your fault. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. I like this little back and forth. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive. Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got Oof. it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Ooh. Nice to meet the real you. Don't say anything. Please. Hmm. We'll see. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? Big game, really. I have to. But you. I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. As I recall, you took something from me too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Oh, whoa. These people I'm working for. They don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, hmm. we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. I don't owe you anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're on your own. Huh. I was hoping we could work together. Sorry. I feel like I should have been nicer to Selena. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address now. No, oh, 800 likes, give nice. Me the drive. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. You can line it with me. <laughs> Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Oh. Better hurry. 
But every bat gamer. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. Shit on I her chest. If you say so. I'll see if that's Sorry, an option. Got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment, and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> we'll do do some Batmaning. Fucking ad. That's just how it be, boys. We hit 100 likes. We hit the like goal. So I smashed that ad button, didn't I? Your boys gotta make money. It's fucking January. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Oh, we're playing as Batman again. I love his cape. Batman's cape always looks so fucking cool. Stay on guard. Especially in the thumbnail for this episode. Oh man, it looks so nice. <laughs> no, James, don't shit on her chest. You'll have major consequences. You'll become the Joker. If you shit on Selena Carl's chest, she becomes the Joker. <clears throat> oh. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. Alright, it's how we get the good ending. <laughs> you get the good ending by shitting on her chest. I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. This suit is like a combination of, um... Arkham Origins and Batman v Superman. Um, in a sense. Analyzing. Detective stuff is cool. Chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. Mm. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Okay, let's have a little look around. White, White Rose. Rose. Falcone's calling card. Oh. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Dead mercenary. No. That bad? I'm missing a fucking eye. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, huh. not natural causes then. The fuck happened here? Skylight Club. Burnt cop. The span's been badly burned. And the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Oh. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. He clawed the guy's face. Cop 
I've shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, it's pretty fucked. What would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Something to do with this. Don't think so. No, okay. no proof. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Canister exploded, sending that man looks right so out of place. Uh, does he really? For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Probably should check everything in this room first before we move on to whatever that. Oh, is it just a shipping container? Canisters I thought it was another room. Here. Canisters of what? Hmm. I really like this Looks cape. Like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. And then that links with the incendiary bullet, right? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Hmm. So what else? Blast epicenter. Oh. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Okay, well now what? Oh, unscorched area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. This is very much like Arkham Origins. Valconi leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Oof. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. This makes a lot of sense. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. 
I think it's good. It's nice to have slower paced detective bits where you're looking no, for all the clues and piecing it together. It's fun. The canister and the dead cop. Things don't always have to be all action and running around and fighting there. and stuff. There. It's, well, you know, there. one of the aspects of Batman. And you gotta nail it. Himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Nice, alright. Okay, sniper's desk. There we go. I'm getting pretty tired too, but I'm also pretty fucking hungry as well. Both targets could have been shot from here. I swear to god I'm no always hungry these days. I don't know what why. I'm just always fucking hungry. Cigarette. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Yeah, I reckon it's about thirty minutes. After I look up the length, Three looked up the length, and average play time for episode one is about two hours. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. Get done in. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Cody, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, uh... you can't make me talk. <laughs> I ain't telling you, Jack. What's wrong with this little bitch? You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! <laughs> Tell me! The Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us call the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. Ooh, Batman's Some doing kind of bits. A weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I believe him, I think. I was just there for a pickup. I swear. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Get out of here. We don't want to risk people thinking the Batman was to blame. He, he 
tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The bad man. Oh, maybe that was a mistake because now they're going to think it was me. Because I didn't speak to him. You're taking this too far, oh, Bruce. No. Oh no, he knows my non-violent approach, so that's good. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're not some hardened vigilante. <laughs> I thought we were going to get one of those You're confrontations in this game. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. <laughs> yeah, we punched him once. <laughs> it's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You'll bury the person, Bruce. But you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. Bruce doesn't that kill your people. And your curse. Bruce doesn't Being not kill people you to turn because of treachery that's he doesn't the want them to die. He doesn't kill people because if he kills, then like it's it's not for them, it's for him. He doesn't kill people because he oh. I don't want to tear him up. That's fucked. Accept the tickets. We don't want to forget. That's the whole point of Batman. You don't forget. Um, but yeah, Batman doesn't he Batman doesn't care if they're in the hospital. He doesn't kill because he vowed not to kill. Because if he kills, then he's no better than the people that he's fighting to stop. That's the reason he doesn't kill. But also because he believes that, you know, all life is important. And he also believes that nobody should have to lose someone that they care about. So even though they're criminals, he doesn't want to be the one responsible for putting a child in the position that he was in when his parents were killed. So that's what, another reason why he doesn't kill. But it's not he, like it's not because he cares about them being hurt or not. I don't think he really gives a shit if they're in the hospital. He just doesn't want to kill out of principle. What are we doing? The back of Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. <clears throat> this is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcon. Zack Snyder made him fucking brute, yeah. Well, Where Zack Snyder didn't make Batman anything, he just created a new character and failed to There's adapt Batman correctly. To this Just completely butchered Lieutenant the character, Gordon. did not make an adaptation correctly. That was not Batman. <laughs> what about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. James Gordon, what are we? It's not even a question. Give the data to Gordon, not the to fucking Vicky Vale. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight Gordon through the police, and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. 
eyes everywhere. A dense web of Daredevil is very destroy. similar. No one has ever managed to bring him to Batman in the way that he doesn't I kill. Tried yet. This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. Daredevil doesn't kill. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. This isn't about politics. Gotham is safer with Falcone off the streets. It's a first step in the marathon to fix this city. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Waynes always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. Uh, next stream for Batman will be soon. In the next few days, I reckon we'll do go. some more Arkham over on Laces Extra. Scene. Haven't been home yet. Which is the point. If you haven't already subscribed to Lasers Extra, my second channel, link is in the description. Me and Elva are playing through the Batman through Arkham it. series, so... What you're holding Go and subscribe to those streams. It much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant. Hey, stick to Jim. Gordon's not helping the state of this city. He just threw that cigarette on the ground and stood on it. Like, you know. What are you fucking playing at, mate? It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called. What if a bird comes along and chokes on it, you little bitch? Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, that's pretty cool. By the Incredibles. It's like the Arkham show. Uh, at the weekend. Maybe on Sunday? Like, Sunday evening or something? Um, but Saturday is obviously Horsey and Fox. Uh, and then Sunday during the day, we're, uh... I've, like, afternoon, I'm recording. Uh, midday, I'm recording at Clubhouse for Monday. But uh, maybe Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, we could do some more Arkham. Sounds about right. We might go out that day. But, uh evening time we can do it. The rain looks pretty nice on his outfit so like for a 2016 game that runs on Telltale's shit engine it looks pretty cool. Alright. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. Let's, uh, Where's see about this. In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Cameras. Entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. You 
take your round? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. Busy into the game so far. I'm having a good time, to be fair. Nice and easy. <clears throat> nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Well, the actual game itself is like, you know, what you expect, classic fucking Telltale bullshit, but like, the actual story is well written, therefore I think that props it up quite a bit, and makes it quite enjoyable. The white rose, Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? You're gonna fucking murder him? Fucking hell, Bruce. Don't kill. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. This is really Stealth cool. An option. Unlike Batman-y, it's really nice. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. I really hope my uh, green screen arrives soon. Because I ordered it a while ago and it said it would arrive between 29th and 31st. Meaning it has to come either today or tomorrow. Today being Thursday, tomorrow being Friday. Arriving tomorrow, okay. So it's been dispatched, I believe. Yes, it has indeed. So it's arriving tomorrow. Nice. Great stuff, cool. So it'll be here for Horsey and Fox. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Oh. to the folding screen, shall we? This is pretty cool. Hanging light. Sounds about good. Sounds about right. It's good stuff. I think it's a well-written story, like, it's, it's a, it's a different sort of story, but I think it's a story in the same vein as, like, an Arkham Origins type game, which is, I think, why I like it, because I'm, I'm quite a fan of Arkham Origins, and the way that story is handled, so. Balcony railing gamers. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? Let's do it. I'm going in. Let's do it. <clears throat> your turn to crash his party. Cape does look really cool. I am quite a fan of it. You're fucked. Bloody nailing it, gamers. There we go. Went well. <laughs> Classic random main coming to fight Batman. How did I mess that up? I flicked down. Ooh. 
Oof. Oh my god! Show yourself. <laughs> Batman like inadvertently killed those guys. Getting pretty fucking aggressive. How about this one? Classic Sully. You can't sneak up on me. Oh shit. Bravo six going dark. <laughs> That's so sick. Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! I... Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You've got a lot to learn, kid! Oh, damn. How did that not get him? What the fuck? My god, it's like a bat tank mission. <laughs> Music cut out. Oh! Wait, wasn't him? Yeah, something reeks about this old I did think maybe it's not actually him. I was thinking at the time, I don't think I said it, but I was thinking, I'm like, hmm. Seems too obvious. Maybe it's Still not Falcone. So who the Plus fuck is it? I did not make that mess at the dock. Then who did? No, with that. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ah. Obviously, I'm just going to arrest him. I'm not going to fucking brutalize him on live television, am I? Or whatever the fuck's going on. Oh, what? What's going on here? Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Wow. Fucking stupid fucking police. That's pretty cool. Oof. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. 
Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue. Falcone has slipped through the laws. Fucking mad though. But after this the Waynes were doing and evidence bits of crime. What? Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That's so and weird, city, though. For all its faults, Cause like, Bruce does what he does for like, Thomas his family and name and everything. It's a bit weird. We no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. No! Defense, Wayne fired back saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. No, the Waynes are being cancelled. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Yeah, Alfred fucking knew. He was in that picture. Right. Fucking Alfred the snake. I feel like Alfred didn't agree with it and didn't want it. And he didn't want to tell Bruce because he didn't want to ruin the reason for why he does what he does. But he, but he, you know, he was all for Bruce being a better person and that's really what he wanted. So there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's have a little look. Did you stick up a Harvey in front of the in front of Falcone? I was on the the winning side of that choice. Did you provide a quote for Vicky Val's story? Most people did. Did you break the dock shooter's arm? Okay, most people didn't, but a lot of people did. Interesting. Could you give the data to? Yeah, most people. A lot of most, you know, gave it to. Gordon. Surprising that 27% gave it to Vicky Vale, though. Interesting. How did Batman deal with Falcone at the end? Yeah, most people did the, the good guy choice. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Next time on the Batman When your parents game. died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. We can skip this because we're only going to go and watch it. So I don't think we can even skip me, it. There's no truth to it. Was that it? The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Um, yeah, you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. There's two seasons and five episodes each. Yeah, there is. I don't know what I'm gonna do by season two, but I might explore that after I've done Plague Tale because I don't want to do both seasons. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. You know, I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham? Oh my God, you can hear that knuckles now. Distance myself. Oh, big old kiss. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Nice. Um, yeah, so what I'll probably do is I'll do season one of this. Um, then I'll do 
Plague Tale, and then I might do season three, or sp might do season two of this. Um, I'm undecided yet, but once I finish it, if I really enjoyed it, I'm like, yeah, I'd love to do season, season two, then I will, but that'll be after Plague Tale, so there's, that's fine. But, uh... But, uh... There we go. Anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me for episode one. I will see you... What day is it tomorrow? Thursday, right? I'll see you tomorrow night for episode two. Because uh, I'm going to do them every night, like I used to do with Life is Strange. So I'll see you tomorrow night at the same time, 11pm UK time. And we'll do episode two of Batman the Telltale series. Um, it'll be fun to dive into some more. And then Friday, we'll do another one. Um, Saturday, there won't be one because of Horsey and Fox. But there'll be another one Sunday. And another one Monday, and that'll be that'll be us done with it. Um, uh, so that'll be cool. So I'll see you every day uh, until we're done with it, except for Saturday, where we'll be on Horsey and Fox, which you want to go and subscribe to Horsey and Fox. So yeah, like in the description, go subscribe to Horsey and Fox. We'll be streaming on Saturday. We're doing Kingdom Hearts through Reminds and all that stuff. And also subscribe to Lazy Extra because me and Elva are playing through all of the Arkham games over there, and you don't want to miss that because that's more Batman stuff. Anyway, um, I'll probably do season two. I don't see why I wouldn't do season two. Um, but that's it from me for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Stay up to date on when I'm going live, just in case maybe there's a delay or maybe I decide to go live early. I probably won't. I definitely won't. But just in case, there's that. Uh, but I'll see you guys tomorrow night. So that'll be a good time. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining. Thanks for everybody that's donated down here. Shout out to uh, my weekly top donator, Lewis, uh, who's currently at the, the weekly top down there on the uh, donation leaderboard. Um, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Catch you later, boys. Goodbye.